There we go. About as close as I can get. I don't want to have too much on here. And uh, if you get a little pain on your rail, don't worry about it. And because you can always take a little bit of your um, 1500 grit paper, um, waterproof paper, and just uh, go over the top of the rail and that'll polish it up and get the paint off. Now as you see here, as I paint these rail joiners, you can see in the camera, they disappear. So, um, I mean, as far as the mix of the color is concerned, you don't necessarily need to get a exact match. Um, so I'll do a little bit on this side, even though no one will probably see this. I'll just go ahead, just to be consistent, because I'm right up against the wall here, and I'm not likely to have very many people leaning over and looking at the fact that, oh, these rail joiners are unpainted. So, but I'll do it anyway. There we go. There. So, go ahead, let this dry, and uh, we'll get back to putting the ties back underneath here. And uh, that's kind of neat to see how it kind of transforms this uh, section here. So, I'll be back in a little bit. All right, uh, now that we've uh, let the paint on our rail joiners um, dry a little bit, um, we've got the cameras focused um, back in that same uh, spot there. And you can see, whereas before, rail joiners were bright and shiny and sticking out and pretty obvious, now you can't see them anymore. Now what I'm going to do is uh, take uh, some of those pieces of tie we cut off, we trimmed off the edges, and we're going to recycle them. We're going to use them and slide them in back under these rails here. Uh, we've got to do a couple of things to them first. Let me adjust the camera a little bit. Okay, you can get a shot of my workspace. Now what I'm going to do is take a piece of uh, sandpaper. And uh, actually, first before that, uh, you have uh, all the spike and tie plate detail uh, that's on the top of the track, on the top of the, excuse me, on the top of the ties. So I'm going to take my little utility knife here and I'm just going to carefully trim those off. Because uh, what we want, what we want to do is um, trim this off so we can slide it under, uh, underneath these uh, rail joiners here so we don't want uh, the spike detail interfering with that. And secondly, you know, it won't be that noticeable either that uh, the spikes are gone. You know, once you get this all ballasted, no one's really going to notice. Um, I mean, you'll know, uh, but uh, that's not uh, too... Uh, it's not going to be a big deal if those details aren't there. So we're going to take those off, clean those off, like that. So it's fairly, fairly smooth and level. Now, what I'm going to do is take this uh, 150 grit emery cloth, and you don't want to use uh, anything too fine or too coarse, so I probably found that works best. I'm going to take this piece, and I've got the, the grain side up, I'll leave the grain side up of the, uh, on, the, uh, uh, on the ties, and we're just going to sand the back down. All right, I have to do this by holding it like that, between my thumb and index finger, and just rubbing it back and forth until we get some of that taken off. And uh, my rule of thumb is I want uh, the ties to be sanded down to about uh, half the thickness of what they formerly were, because the rail joiners take up a fair amount of space um, underneath uh, the rails, so you want to be able to have a fairly easy time of slipping these ties underneath, and uh, in addition, you don't want these ties to be pushing up on the rail and uh, introducing a kink in the rail that way, so having a bulge up. So you want to get this uh, fairly 
thinned out. And I think we're getting there. And do a little bit more. I can blow some of that dust off. And I think we're starting to look good here. All right. So, uh, let me go ahead and uh, try testing this out. Sliding these. Sliding this under. And it's still a little bit tight, so I need to go ahead and take a little more off. Not a big deal. Do that. I'm going to have to... Whoops! You can see what I'm doing here. Alright. Alright, let me go ahead and do, let me do this other piece here. So we've got uh, two of them, because you're going to need a uh, total of, depending on how many ties you t cut away, you should only take, B, you know, you only should only need to take about two ties off of one end, two ties off of both ends, so you need to replace four ties. Uh, so, um, 